Hey folks, what's going on? Tax Joe Van Drake is back. Um, first and foremost, happy 2017. Um, I hope that this year will be a great one for you guys, uh, and hopefully for me too. <laughs> but um, um, yes, uh, in my last video, I did talk about, um, I, I did say that um, there was something that I wanted to kind of feature in the video. Um, so that's basically the reason uh, besides the new year's greeting uh you know that's basically the reason why uh the reason why i am making this video uh so what is it uh what did i recently pick up um it is this guy right here i think it's probably a little bit difficult to see but it, you can probably see it's a guitar pick um and it is a guitar pick now what kind of guitar pick is this this is a Jim Dunlop, Jean Petrucci Signature Primetone Jazz 3. Um, now, John Petrucci has used the um, Dunlop Jazz 3, like his own signature line Jazz 3, uh, for many years. Um, and there are many videos that, videos that, uh, that feature uh, that one. Um, it's actually, actually a black uh, Jazz three shaped pick, uh, slightly bigger than this one, and also slightly more, uh, thicker than this one as well. This one is actually a more of a uh, traditional, like a, like original uh, uh, jazz three size, and also the thickness as well. This is uh, one point three eight millimeters uh, thickness wise. Um, whereas the other John Petrucci model is actually a black one. It's actually a little bit bigger than this one. And uh, you know it's uh, 1.5 millimeters in thickness. Uh, so um, yeah, this one is actually uh, this one just came out, I believe, last year, uh, probably sometime in the summer, uh, maybe spring, summer around there, uh, from what I understand. Um, and I have looked uh, like I, I've kind of tried to look for a video on YouTube that talked about this very pick. And I couldn't find any. Um, by the time this video gets uploaded on YouTube, maybe somebody else has uh, made another uh, made made a video about it. So um, who knows? But I kind of feel like I'm the first one to actually talk about this one. And if I am, then that's kind of cool. If not, then hey, whatever, that's fine. But um, so let's just talk about this pick, uh, John Petrucci Prime Tone Jazz. Three. Now I picked up a uh, red variety, uh, which actually they call it the Ox Blood, right? Uh, it's actually a nice dark red color. It's probably probably very difficult to to tell here. Maybe maybe like right there. Um, but it's actually a quite beautiful color, and it actually kind of reminds you of like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or something. Um, you know, red wine, right? Um, and you can also get this one, uh, this model in black as well. Um, you know, whereas the older ja uh, John Petrucci Jazz, uh, Jazz 3 only came in black. Um, but yeah, um, I bought this one, number one, because I was uh, interested in this material. Now, um, the material of this pick is essentially uh, this thing called Altem material. Uh, however, the folks at Dunlop, they call it the uh, Altex, uh, uh, for whatever reason they have. Uh, but they seem to do that with, like, you know, the Tortex and, you know, Altex and things. Uh, anyway, um, this is a prime tone range uh, which means that this actually has a um, sort of a what they call the sculpted edge uh, which essentially mimics the worn out kind of pick edge now uh, you know how like when you've used the guitar pick for a, a certain period of time, 
it creates a you know the, the pit gets worn out and it creates a surface like well, it creates a surface but like it creates a certain sloped edge uh, you know from that sort of uh, the material being sort of rubbed off and uh, worn out um, the prime tone range what that is is basically a brand new pick with that sort of uh, worn out sort of edge feel um, and this John Petrucci signature prime tone Altex Jazz 3 uh, is no exception because what they've done is John Petrucci and the, the Dunlop team uh, wanted to come up with a, a new product, new uh, guitar pick and apparently John was interested in the prime tone line and he's been a fan of the Altex material for the longest time so he um, Basically, the, the Dunlop team, they gave him this one uh, black Altex Jazz, Jazz 3. Basically, you think the same as this one, except in black. But not the 2mm one. Uh, because you can get the 2mm Altex Jazz 3. Uh, so... Uh, he took that on the road and he played that single one single uh, pick he held on to it for a few weeks and played it every night and you know at one point after a few weeks he looked at it and then go you know he probably said something like hey maybe this is worn out enough uh, I can probably send it over to the, the people at Dunlop and they can probably do something with it uh, so he did and they did uh, the result is this guy right here. So this uh, bevel, it is actually kind of steepish. Uh, it's a little bit more of a steep sort of angle compared to something like this one, because this is this is basically a well-worn uh, sort of tax Joven Drake uh, well-worn bevel, uh, but this is more of a subtle sort of. It's actually more of a gentle slope compared to something like this one. If you can see that on the picture, uh, what you're seeing right now uh, is a side-by-side -side view of, uh, to your left, that's the yellow, uh, you know, standard Altex Jazz 3. Now, that's actually uh, before the, you know, uh, that's actually brand new. Uh, I haven't wor uh, worn it out or anything. Uh, the, right next to it is the red uh, John Petrucci, uh, Prime Tone, Altex Jazz 3, and if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that on uh, the edge right there, uh, there is a little bit of a slope or you know what they call the bevel, and if you flip it over, uh, basically the same thing, and the, the bevel is going to be on the side. Uh, so yeah, um, and. What makes this thing unique is basically that, you know, like I said, it's actually a little bit uh, steeper of an angle. Uh, and that kind of makes it unique uh, because uh, this is based on John, you know, John's well-worn pick, meaning that uh, this edge has been created as a result of the way that he holds the pick, the way that the pick attacked the you know the strings and so on and so forth and that is unique to uh, his you know his style of playing um, so, you know, the same can be said for something like this one as well uh, this you know, uh, it, you know in this case uh, my uh, style of playing uh, the way that I hold the pick and the way that I sort of play this you know the, the guitar the way the the, the, you know, the pick sort of attack the strings when I play the guitar uh, makes this little wear and, uh, and other sort of little micro damage unique to uh, my own guitar playing. Now, do I like it? 
Yes, yes. I really like this pick um, because, like, one thing that this edge does is it uh, it really makes like you know things like 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 sweep picking and stuff. It makes it really easy. <laughs> The material, because it's made of all the Altex material, it uh, it kind of helps that too, and and it's also, you know, it's also a really durable material, so that's always a plus. Um, now the price, now um, the prime tone range is a bit of an expensive uh, range of Dunlop sort of you know, pick pick series where like I bought the three pack where you know you have three picks of well, three of these guys and I paid like maybe ten some no ten dollars or something. Actually I paid in yen. So I'm just gonna give you a rough conversion of it. So it's probably like around maybe ten bucks for three of these guys and if you were to you know buy them in singles like it's probably gonna be like anywhere anywhere from like two dollars to like maybe four dollars or something. These guys the, uh, the standard uh, Altex Jazz threes are probably like anywhere anywhere from uh, seventy cents to a dollar, I'm guessing. But I bought these guys. Uh, like I bought twelve of these, like twelve pack, uh, twelve of these for uh, you know under ten bucks. So there you go. So would I recommend this to anybody? Or or even before I say that. Would I buy these again? Um, maybe, you know, maybe. I really like this pick, but would I buy it again? Um, well, no, first and foremost, I do really find the material to be pretty durable. So, uh, you know, like it's not going to be, you know, one of those situations where I use like, uh, you know, nylon or uh, celluloid pick and you know, after playing for like a few hours, it's just gonna be like kind of all deformed or anything. It's not like it's not like that. I can, you know, like it took me like this one took me about a month or two to really wear out. Um, so, you know, uh, that's one thing. And if I and I have twelve of these, so. And another thing is, because this is a very expensive pick, well not very expensive, but kind of a kind of pricey-ish pick, I probably won't uh, uh, take it outside, like I'll probably use it primarily, primarily uh, in a studio. So there's that sort of... Uh, aspect uh, that comes with uh, this guitar pick, uh, you know, versus the uh, standard model. Um, but yeah, would I recommend it, this one, to uh, other people? Yes, actually, I do, and not necessarily because um, this is a great pick, which which it is. But I recommend this to people. Uh, you know, just just because I think that um, it's good to sort of try different things, and to you know, it's good to to try different things and to find out what you really like and what you don't like, and um, and I think that's uh, very important if you are a, a guitar player and if you are a guitar player who use a guitar pick. Um, and I've used a lot of different ones. I've I've got you know uh, Delrin picks. I've got the, the celluloid picks. I've got nylon picks. I've got metal picks, and and I've used like different sort of shapes uh, and sizes. And I sort of you know I, I decided to kind of you know give the Altex Jazz three shape a try, and yeah, I kind of decided that I'm probably gonna stick with this one for a little while. 
um, because I'm finding it to be very, uh, very comfortable. Um, and as for the John Petrucci uh, prime tone, I, yeah, I generally, generally, I really like it, and I feel like I can recommend this to uh, other people, uh, you know. But I will, but I want to also kind of, you know, let everyone know that this is not necessarily a cheapest uh, guitar pick that you can get. Uh, but you know, you know, give it a try. Really, I mean, I think it's. You know, it's it's good that you know you've tried different things, uh, like I said before. So, yeah. <laughs> So um, that's about it for this video. Um, I just wanted to talk about this uh, pick because I don't think anybody else has done that on YouTube yet. I've seen um, John Petrucci make a short video on Facebook, but uh, you know, for uh, the Dunlop uh, page, but you know, not on uh, not on YouTube. So so I felt like I should make one for YouTube. So that's it for the time being. I think, uh, I hope to make another video soon. Um, I have another idea. So uh, so it's probably going to be soon enough uh, that you will see another video from me. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, people. Uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, I wish you all a fantastic 2017. And uh, yeah, all right. Ciao for now, folks.